Morning. Welcome to Cruises and Casinos. We are on Carnival Celebration. Today it's Sunday, April 18th. Strike that. Sunday, June 18th, 2023. And this video is going to show all of the complimentary eating places, all the different foods on Carnival Celebration. And we're starting from Deck 18. This is the Serenity area, Deck 18. It's for adults only. And here we will find the Fresh Creations which is open from 12 to 2.30 on sea days. So of course it's not open yet, but uh, this will be complimentary. Fresh Creation Salads Your Way is right next to the Serenity Bar on Deck 18, forward. Okay, so that's stop number one. For purposes of keeping this video as short as possible, we will pause until we get to the location, which is on deck 17. Okay, so we are leaving the Serenity, which is deck 18, to go over to uh, Guy's Burger Joint, which is on 17th, and the, uh, the Serenity attendant told me this is a shortcut to get over there. see this as a shortcut so let me uh, pause the video again this is the pool area by the way on uh, the first sea day before I head on down there let's take a quick look at that so we came from uh, that area deck uh, 18 uh, behind the flute there that's where the serenity is on now uh, and now we're going into uh, Guy's, which is on deck 17. And this will be the port side. Celebration and Mardi Gras are the only two ships that uh, has Guy's in a separate uh, location rather than being on the pool deck next to, uh, on the other side of uh, the cantina. So this is Guy's Burger Joint. Of course, it's not open yet. Usually opens for lunch. You see some of the uh, workers already uh, starting to prepare stuff. So it's, oops. Can't go in. I wanted to show the menus, but... Uh, Yes, this is uh, as close as I could get, showing the menu. It's extremely popular, Guy's Burger King. Okay, so this is the location would be deck 17 port side this would be right around midship these are all the tables and eating areas here's the top end spa And this would also be one of the location for the Swirls ice cream. From my count, there are three locations. One is here, and I'll show the other one in deck 16 in a minute. Here's Swirls. It's complimentary ice cream. So now we're gonna head down to deck 16, which is the Lido deck where the buffet is. Be right back. Okay, from Guy's Burger Joint, we're heading down this 
staircase right in the back of uh, Red Frog Bar. Good morning. And this will take us right into the Lido Buffet. Okay, so this is the Lido Buffet. It's 20 minutes to 10. In the morning, they still serve in breakfast. This is a sea day. We are heading from midship to aft. The second buffet area in the Lido. This one is not as crowded as the first one. This is the area closer to the tide spool. This is the aft of the ship. Right through that door, that's the aft of the ship or the tide pools area. That's where Big Chicken is located, which is another complimentary uh, food restaurant. Uh, it's also very popular. Famous basketball player Shaquille O'Neal is the ambassador for this uh, ship. Actually, I do believe the Mardi Gras, but this is uh, his uh, Big Chicken uh, complimentary restaurant. They serve breakfast and lunch, and I believe they are open uh, up to up to uh, some um, hour for dinner. Don't quote me on that because I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so that's. Uh, the complimentary eating places on the Lido deck or deck 16. Actually, that's not all of it. I'll be right back to show you the street eats. This would be the Tides Pool bar. Here's the entrance or exit back into the buffet. And over here we have a, another Swirls ice cream location. Oh. Okay, we just left the Lido Marketplace Buffet. We're heading across the pool deck on uh, deck 16 to show the other complimentary foods. This area is known as Street Eats. They don't have up the uh, uh, item of the day just yet. So you have... Uh, The sizzle, bad sizzle, and steam dreams. Neither one is open yet, but these are complimentary. Time fries, also complimentary. And the fourth area over here is not complimentary, which is a seafood shack. I think they have a, a menu price here. Yep. And this is very popular, even though it's uh, there's a cover charge for it. There's a, usually a big line of people there. And over to the other side, on the port side, you'll find the uh, cantina, which serves uh, tacos and burritos and bowls. They have uh, breakfast and lunch on sea days. And I believe uh, breakfast also and lunch on port days. Oh, here it is. So right now it's still breakfast. We will be right back. So we are down now to deck eight. And we came down the elevator towards the aft or the back of the ship. And here you will find Shebang. This is complimentary for lunch on sea days. And it used to be complimentary for dinner until Carnival uh, 
cut that back to only one complimentary dinner. Anything more, you'll have to pay a, a cover fee. Okay, so this is shebang, it's complimentary. This is the Havana bar. Sometimes they have complimentary uh, finger foods in here. I know on many of the ships they do have uh, complimentary uh, like empanadillas and flan and things like that. I'm not sure if on this ship they have it, but I just thought I would show it also in case anybody wants to come and check it out, see if they have anything complimentary. Okay, we're still on uh, deck eight. We're heading towards the uh, complimentary eating places over here. This is going towards the uh, aft of the ship. I do believe I made a mistake before when I said uh, Chibangs is towards the back of the ship. It's actually the front. We're now heading to the back. And this is um, some of the Eden Places over here, Cucina del Capitano, that's complimentary. Miami Slice, Deco Deli, that's all complimentary. Rudy Seagrill is not. On the outside of this bar, that's where you would find the lanai. It's a lot of tables. Uh, it's also a smoking area back there. So this would be Miami Slice. Of course, it's not open yet. You can see the guys preparing. And next to Miami Slice, you have the Deco Deli. It's closed right now. And this would be the uh, menu. This is a very popular area at night. Uh, the Deco Deli and the Miami Slice, the pizza area and the sandwich area. Once they're ready to go, like right around uh, noon, all of this will be filled with sandwiches. So, like from this uh, menu up here, one through twelve. And the lines usually would be going back all the way here by Rudy's uh, Seagrill. Carnival Converse. Okay, we're walking past guest services. I'm going towards uh, Guy's Pig and Anchor. Be right back. This area is called Summer Landing. That's where you'll find Pig and Anchor. This is where they make the uh, in-house beer. I did a video on that on Carnival Mardi Gras. I was absolutely fascinated by it. And they have a really big bar over here in um, Pig and Anchor. These are all the tables. Sit and eat. They serve uh, breakfast, lunch uh, on sea days outside. It's complimentary. See, it's like a buffet style. So it's an option if you don't want to have the. Um, Lido Marketplace Buffet. And if you go out through this door, doesn't want to open, here it is. This is where they would be serving the lunch and it's also like a buffet style. See, it's closed right now. That's 
guys beginning. In uh, Summer Landing, uh, Guys Pig and Anki, you'll also find the Heroes, the Heroes Tribute Lounge. And this would be the lounge. And you also have another Swirls uh, location here. Here we're heading down to deck seven, which is where the uh, main dining rooms are located. Main dining room is called Festival Restaurant. On sea days, uh, they serve brunch. Here's the menu for the sea day brunch. Okay, next to uh, Festival Dining Room, it's uh, Fahrenheit Steakhouse, which is not complimentary. I just thought I'd show you it was here. We're going to now head down to Deck 6, where the other main dining rooms are. And also uh, Java Blue, should be right back. This is Deck 6, Festival Restaurant. You can see there's quite a a crowd here for the brunch. Be right back. Here on deck six, you'll also find uh, Emerald's Bistro. This is not complimentary. You can see some of the prices up there. Have some of the uh, the dancers working out at center stage. Okay, so this is where you'll find Java Blue, right next to Cherry on top. You have the uh, antique automobile on display here. This one is much bigger than the one on Mardi Gras. I think it's a rolls. Yep, it's a rolls. Okay, so cherry on top and Java Blue are side by side. And they are next to the center stage. This would be midship. And they have complimentary uh, lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch sandwiches. Many people don't know that, but uh, I was actually surprised to find that out a few cruises back. So this would still be the um, the breakfast stuff. Thank you. And he would like a chocolate chip muffin and a lemon papa seat. Like you can throw on the same. Oh, you already got it. You can throw on the same plate. This is all breakfast, and then they'll have a, another set for lunch. And this is complimentary. Show you some other stuff that will be complimentary in Java Blue. It's towards the opposite end where there's a big crowd, but I'll try and make my way through there. Here, grab and go. These are complimentary, everything here. Grab and go, it's complimentary. And fruit plates. Granola bones. And milk. The sodas and other drinks are not complimentary. Right next door is cherry on top and nothing here is complimentary. 
Okay, I think we got it all. Started from deck 18 all the way down to deck 6. We just showed all of the complimentary eating places on Carnival Celebration. Thanks for watching.